Creating a false sense of security to all the followers is something that a lot of false prophets and false pastors do. They give you a wristband and they tell you that the wristband is going to protect you. But whenever your pastor is going to town and going for shopping, he goes with 15 bodyguards. You are misled. You are gullible. You are brainwashed. Yeah. They give you a sticker and they tell you, put the sticker on your car, you will never have an accident. But whenever your pastor is leaving the office and driving anywhere, there are machines that are used to scan his car. Why is it that all these anointed stickers and anointed wristbands, they are always given to the followers, create a sense, create a false sense of security. They are always given to the followers, but they are never given to the pastors to wear. The pastor will give you wristbands, but he's not wearing it. The pastor will tell you the wristband will protect you. The, the, the sticker will protect you, but himself is not wearing it. If it is really, really carrying the power of protection, put it on first. Then if it protects you, we'll follow suit. It's simple, right? Somebody will say, oh no, Jezra, why are you saying this? Why are you saying all these things that you are saying? It is simple. If the oil that you say is the oil of breakthrough is the oil, the next time that you want to buy speakers in your church, anoint yourself. Simple, right? If you say that this anointing oil, if you use it, you're going to have money, you will touch money, eh, money will follow you because your hands are now anointed. If the, if, if the oil carries a power to give people wealth and money, the next time it is your birthday, Mr. Prophet, Mr. Pastor, don't go and stand in front of the church to say, church, it is my birthday. Come, let us contribute money. Come, let us put money on the, in, 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 the, in the basket so that I can buy whatever that I want to buy. The next time you want to buy a camera, do not go to the church and tell the people that we want to buy a camera. But go take the oil, anoint your hands, anoint your forehead. If the oil really is an oil of prosperity, let it be evident of you, Mr. Prophet, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Apostle, who is selling anointing oil and lying to people that the oil is going to make them prosper. If it is going to make them prosper, the next time you want to uh, 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 pay for rent in your building that you are renting for church, go stand in front of the people and tell them that I'm about to anoint myself with the oil of prosperity so that money for rental can come. Do you not see that this is foolishness? This is a lie. This is a, a manipulation and this is deception run away from such people bible say mark them and avoid them yeah it's an oil of uh, to so after you are anointed by this oil you become a financial magnet there's nothing like that